Hey Joe, it's folks here and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at this store here. Uh, this store is likely crushing it. Uh, they have tons of social proof on here. You can see we will start to scroll through. I'll talk a little bit later about how they are actually uh, getting this social proof. We're going to break down a whole bunch uh, on this store today. So uh, if you are someone that is just getting started with print on demand or uh, maybe if you're running a store for a while and you're not you're not getting results, we're going to talk about some things that uh, this store is doing uh, to absolutely crush it. As we scroll through the store, this social proof is going to continue to be prevalent. We're going to see awesome designs uh, like what you're looking at uh, right now and a whole bunch more. And if you do enjoy uh, this content, make sure to check out the POD Ninjas Facebook group. That is my uh, community on Facebook. It has over 40,000 print-on-demand store owners in it. There's a link in the description uh, where you guys can join. Also, make sure to check out my free Shopify setup course. Now, I believe that Shopify is the best place to run a print-on-demand store, and I've put together a, an entire course for free uh, to show you how to actually get set up. Uh, and then also, like the video, uh, it's not for my own ego. If you enjoy this content, it's to help other people to actually be able to find this content. So if you enjoy it, like the video, I really appreciate it. Now, like I said, uh, this store is likely doing very well. And the reason why we can tell that is just because of the sheer amount of social proof that we are seeing on this store. They have on the homepage here just a whole bunch of collections that are showing all of the different things uh, that they are selling. We're going to look at a whole bunch of it today. But first, I sort of wanted to break down uh, something that I think is cool that they are doing uh, with their store pages. You can see if I hover over uh, Support Center here, uh, they've done a really nice job at providing some information uh, for their customers. I'm going to click on Support Center here and show you guys what they have. Uh, this is set up through Zendesk.com, uh, which is something that I honestly don't have any experience with, but it's essentially like this huge, like frequently asked questions and like help center uh, that they've built out for uh, their customers where they can get information about shipping and delivery, returns and exchange policies, and a whole bunch more. Now, like I said, this is done through uh, Zendesk, which is a customer support type of software that you can use you don't necessarily have to create something like this what you could do is just create a whole bunch of individual pages where you explain the different policies and procedures on your store and like I said if you want some help getting everything set up make sure to check out the free Shopify course I explain some of this stuff there the link is down in the description so if you guys wanted to check out this store uh, it is familyloves.net the logo here says familyloves.com but it is on a .net uh, domain so as you can see here on the homepage, uh, they've done a really nice job at creating these really cool images to promote uh, their stuff, right? As collection images, they have uh, some previews of the different designs. This is a really good way to make the store look better, right? And more professional. You can see that there's a uniform look here, right? Everything sort of looks the same and you feel like you are not on a generic store. The second thing you'll notice, like I said before, is if you scroll down, you begin to see a whole bunch of social proof, which we will talk about in a little bit. First thing I wanted to break down with this store is the niches uh, and, and why they matter, right? Most successful print on demand stores understand that a good niche is the first step to actually succeeding uh, with print on demand. And this is because this is what actually gets someone interested in your products, right? Print on demand is a unique business model where the only reason that people buy our products is because they have an emotional attachment to the niche. If people are scrolling on social media and your products don't represent a specific niche, they're likely going to scroll right past it because there's no reason for them to buy uh, your print on demand shoes or your blankets or your hoodies or whatever, because if the niche does not actually resonate with them, it's not going to be something that they are interested in buying. People will essentially ignore your stuff if the niches that you choose are not passionate enough to actually buy products online. And you can see here, uh, right on this store, they've already done a fantastic job, right? They have Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard. Uh, you can see if we grow, if we go into uh, all themes here, they have Native Americans, fishing, hunting, Viking, Jesus, yoga, nurse, police officers, firefighters, Zodiac, skull, trucker, teacher, photographers, and autism awareness, right? And you see if we click into these, right, we'll just click into trucker here, they have done a fantastic job. They have 51 uh, results in here. I'll quickly scroll through, uh, and then I want to sort of break down some of the things they have 
have done uh, with their product choices that are allowing them uh, to create some much more unique products than what you typically see on print on demand stores. Before we do that though, I just want to show you something they are doing uh, here on their product page, which is going to allow them to actually uh, convey their brand. See, so many people that start a print on demand store, they don't do anything uh, to their product page, meaning they put all this time into customizing the home page and utilizing different branding elements and things like that. But when it comes to the actual product page, there's nothing there that actually is going to drive conversions. And you can see the first thing up at the top is this awesome product image that shows both the front and the back of the product so that way the customers can immediately see exactly what this design actually looks like right and you can see as we as we begin to scroll through they even have more images uh, down here in the description right as we continue to scroll they're also going to have some text here they're going to have some close-ups of the products they're going to tell you a little bit more about it and then as always there is tons of social proof scattered throughout uh, this entire store and like i said i just wanted to quickly touch on this because this store not only have they done a great job with like niches and product choices and designs but their product pages are also very well done when it comes to product choice uh, most new sellers struggle with print on demand because they choose saturated products right print on demand companies have made it possible for us to offer awesome products we're going to look at several of them here uh, in this video today but if you're new to print on demand or if you are struggling like you don't need to sell uh, t-shirts or mugs anymore there are tons of other options out there that are not only going to make you a lot more profits but they're going to allow you to cut through the immense saturation uh, that is present within the print on demand business model Think about uh, just how saturated the trucker niche is, right? Uh, there's likely going to be hundreds of thousands of t-shirts that exist within this niche when what this store has done has just simply chosen some different products and they've created some awesome designs uh, for these for these for these people in this niche right and they're doing it in a way that's not going to be saturated because likely if someone in this niche is seeing t-shirts that relate to the trucker niche they're likely going to say to themselves well i've seen that before but these bomber jackets are going to be a a nice breath of fresh air honestly they're going to be some Something that truly stand out uh, to the niche and get them to want to actually buy the product and a design like this is honestly uh, not that different than what you typically see on t-shirts right it, like the the, uh, the print that they have on the back is something that you would likely see on various trucking t-shirts however what they've done is they just created a much cooler product by putting it on a bomber jacket they have printing on the sleeves uh, they have printing all over the whole thing to make it look like it is a leather jacket you can see here that they are selling this for $79.99 if you go into the Pillow Profits app and you scroll down, you can see that you can get this product for $42.99. And if you're using Pillow Profits, you're going to get the shipping included. You're not going to have to pay anything additional. And at a $79 uh, price point here, they're making almost... They're making well over a $30 profit margin per sale. Contrast that with a t-shirt where you might be making 3 or $4 every single time you sell the product. Not to mention that it might be even tougher to actually sell that shirt because it is so saturated. Here is another uh, product that they are doing. This is a fleece lined all over printed hoodie, right? And they're selling these for just about $70. Some of them are $74.99 and some of them are $69.99. Uh, really cool product, very similar design concepts to what you typically see on a t-shirt. However, not only is it a lot more unique and something that a lot more people might actually want, but they're going to make a lot more profit margin on it. This is the product right here uh, from the WC Fulfillment Shopify app. You can see uh, that to the USA, this product costs just $29.99 plus another $4.99 to ship, so about $35. They're making about $30 profit margin every single time they sell this product. Another product option is uh, this car seat cover here. They're selling it for uh, $79.99. If you go check out the Pillow Profits app uh, and you scroll down, you'll see that this costs just $34.99. So again, they're making a $35 profit margin margin selling this and again if you're thinking of the military niche obviously it's a great niche people are passionate about being in the military whether they're active duty or retired uh, they also identify with being uh, a, a soldier right or a sailor in the navy uh, and they're likely going to view 
uh, print on demand shirts as being something that's a little bit saturated. But if you can offer them something like this, that they can actually put it in their car, they're going to think that is much cooler. And again, speaking from personal experience, I've actually sold a bunch of seat covers to this niche uh, myself. And again, not only is it more, uh, it more likely to sell because it's not as saturated, you're going to make a lot more profits. Another product this store has uh, seemed to go all in on is shoes. They have tons and tons of different shoes for all of the different niches uh, that they are selling to here uh, on this store. And they're selling them for $59.99. If you go again to the Pillow Profits app, uh, you can get these for $26.99. Now, Pillow Profits has been an app that I keep referencing throughout this video. There are gonna be other apps out there that carry some of the products that we've looked at today. You guys can check out the Subliminator app. You can also check out Printify or T-Launch to get some of these products. If you wanna check out this video right here, I'm gonna show you guys 10 of the print on demand companies that I think you should try uh, in the year 2021 and beyond. When it comes to print on demand designs, uh, so many people struggle with print on demand because they are not designers and they attempt to just uh, create their own things, but all they can do is simple text based designs. In order to succeed, right, not only do you need to nail the niche and the product choice, but you also need to make designs that look good, okay? Uh, non designers, right? Like if you're someone that is just starting print on demand and you're not a designer, you've never done anything creative in your life, you've never painted, you've never drawn, and you don't know how to use graphic designs software, you should likely outsource uh, some of that design work. If you guys want to see maybe a whole video I'll put together or something like that where I will show like how to hire designers, uh, drop a like on this video. If we get 200 likes, I'll make a video Like if, if you guys tell me uh, that, you, that you want that. Uh, but in, in terms of like what the design should actually look like, Custom illustrations will always uh, perform better uh, over text and clip art. In my experience, if you're just doing simple text and clip art sort of icon designs, it's going to be very tough to actually get people to want to buy it. You need to make something that is going to not be basic unless, and if you do, people are going to likely ignore it. Take a look at uh, these uh, items here, right? Look at this, uh, this bedding set, right? Uh, a little bit of trademark violation there because I'm pretty sure you can't use like the military logo like that. Uh, but they've literally created something really cool, right? It is custom illustrated to show the flag sort of peeling back and revealing uh, the uh, rest of it behind uh, this, this flag, right? If you're not someone that can create something like this, you likely need to work with a designer to be able to have them illustrate this stuff for you. Probably, you know, when I'm working with new with new clients or just beginners in general, like a lot of them are jumping into print on demand and they want to make uh, their own designs. And I usually ask them, well, do you have experience in this? Do you think that you could create something that looks as good as an example like what I've shown you here in this video today? Because if the answer is no, then you might want to think about hiring someone who can. In terms of the social proof here in this store, you can see as we begin to scroll down, uh, they have 3,400 product reviews here. This is a major uh, win for this store because when people begin to you know, land on these products, let's say they are promoting them with ads or something like that or an Instagram influencer, when they land here, they're going to be much more likely to trust the store, right? Of course, it's possible to make sales uh, without social proof. Every store starts with zero social proof, but obviously Obviously, having it is an important thing. So if you are uh, someone who is beginning to make sales, you might want to think about uh, actually starting to collect uh, social proof from your customers. I believe this store here, if we scroll all the way down, uh, it tells us the app they are using. You can see that it says powered by judge.me. You can check that out. There's also a Shopify app called Luke's, uh, L-O-O-X, that allows you to uh, set up automatic emails uh, that are sent to customers after they buy, requesting them to submit uh, a review in exchange for a discount on a future purchase on your store. And again, like I said, uh, having social proof like this is a great way uh, to drive sales, especially when you use an app that is going to do it uh, automatically for you. So in terms of revenue, right, obviously it's going to be nearly impossible to predict uh, how much uh, this store is doing, but I would I would estimate that they are making some sales, right? They're, they're definitely not struggling because they have lots of social proof. They have over 3,000 product reviews. So we know they've at least made 3,000 sales, which is going to equate to a lot of profit, especially because this store is choosing such high margin products that are going to be quite unique inside of the niches that they are trying to sell in, right? That is one of the things that I talk about all of the time. 
with people that are new uh, to print on demand is that the product choice is what is truly going to allow you to scale, not only because there's more profit margin there, but because it's going to cut through uh, that saturation. You can sell in some of the most popular and saturated niches and not worry about saturation because you're the only one likely that is selling some of the products uh, that we've looked at today. There's probably not many stores out there that are actually creating as many bomber jackets and fleece lined hoodies and seat covers as this store is here. And they're likely uh, crushing it because they are doing that. So like I said at the beginning of the video, folks, if uh, you did enjoy this and you got something out of it and you think other people would too, make sure to drop a like on the video. Again, that's not for my own ego. That's to make sure that YouTube actually begins to recommend this video to other people here uh, on the platform. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If not, uh, I guess I, I will try to do better uh, next time, but hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, my name is Joe Robert. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.